Well, hello there. Welcome to another video. In our last video, we renovated the biggest apartment in The Sims 4. This was three stories high from The Sims 4 City Living and it took forever to renovate. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll link it. So today I thought, how about we renovate the smallest apartment in The Sims 4? And the smallest apartment really surprised me. I thought it was this dodgy one from City Living, which we actually renovated the other day. So lucky it wasn't that one. But it actually turns out it's this apartment from Eco Lifestyle with only 70 tiles of living space. The second smallest apartment is this one from City Living, which has 72 tiles, so pretty close. A lot of people actually don't even know that apartments also come in The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. And the cool thing about these apartments is they change and evolve over time as you work through the gameplay of completing environmental incentives. So that's kind of cool. But we're gonna be working on the default design. I mean, it keeps the same layout. It's just like the exterior and the windows that change. This is the one we're working on, Pinecrest Apartments, number 402, two bedroom, one bath, weekly rent of 600 simoleons with a deposit of 1,000 simoleons and the furnishings at 12,500. So I'm curious to see how that will change as we renovate it. So this is what it looks like from the exterior. It looks kind of dated to begin with or just really like a blank canvas, which you know I love. And then of course, over time, the windows get better, the doors, everything just looks a bit nicer as well as the surroundings. It is so dark in here. Let's uh, start off with just some sources. I know I'm kind of jumping the gun here, but just so we can actually see what's going on. So here's the front door on the side. Then you walk into a lounge room, the kitchen's behind it with a two seater dining area, nice little bathroom and two bedrooms, both with single beds. Now, the first thing I'm noticing is this definitely will fit a double bed into it, which can just be handy for gameplay, like romance interactions. Otherwise it would make more sense to like have a bunk bed or two beds in this bedroom. Then over here, I don't mind this floor plan. Like I feel like this floor plan's actually really good. And often I don't like the floor plans in The Sims 4. So I'm not sure if we're even gonna have to make that many changes to it. Probably one thing that I'd like to do is maybe push this back uh, and of course put in a double bed. I might try and stick to a lot of eco lifestyle, which won't surprise you guys, cause you know I love eco. Actually, someone had said, I dare you not to use eco lifestyle in a build. And that does kind of terrify me. I think they also said Dream Home Decorator. I love those packs so much. It's so hard for me not to use them. We could actually make this bathroom even smaller if we wanted to use the high school year shower. Cause you can do something like this. No, wait, this? I don't know, no matter how many times I do it, I always forget. You can definitely do a four tile bathroom to save on some space. And interestingly, this couch is actually from gameplay, which they don't always allow you to include in a pre-built home in The Sims 4. So that's just kind of a fun, fun little fact. I love using eco lifestyle. So, and also this bedroom, I mean, we probably could make this bedroom even smaller. I mean, usually you'd want to have as much space as possible, but we are limited in living room space. So it could actually be nice to make it smaller. And then you could have like a couch back here. You could even, ooh, actually we could move, we could rearrange this a little bit. Get rid of the half wall. I actually quite like the half wall. I love, I love a cheeky half wall. And then we could actually have the TV over on this side. Uh, I'm gonna get a different TV. Maybe even put that in the middle of the wall. Although we'd probably wanna have the bed over here looking at it again. We could have like a wardrobe there. So that would enable us to really expand this room. And I also love in Eco Lifestyle that they have the dividers. You know, I use these dividers all the time if you're familiar with my videos. They are just so useful. They never get old to me. Or you could do like the greenery ones too. That's quite nice. I was thinking more of these ones. The way I like to place them is I draw up a wall and then I delete the wall behind it after placing it. So for the kitchen, I'm kind of thinking like, do we want to restrict the packs that I'm using here to like base game and two packs? Cause I can do that and just, use base game stuff like the kitchen. Oh, you know what? I think I should draw this wall again. 
and place these maybe on the other side so it doesn't cut into the benches, you know what I mean? I'll delete them here, and then this little table, we could move like that. I've been here. Actually, we could even round off this table at the end. I forget what this piece looks like. Oh, I mean, it doesn't really look that different anyway. Been there. Then we could put the fridge like that, sink, and we need an oven oven over there actually I think there's a cute wait isn't there like a blue teal color yeah I like that color yeah I mean that's already looking really good even have a little lounge room divider like this although if we're wanting to have some kind of armchair here I don't know if that's the best idea the only issue with this is that it does mean the bathroom is tiny and this bedroom is also tiny the kitchen's looking pretty big. You know what we could do with the kitchen is just swap these around and actually extend the bathroom this way. We could even keep the bathroom smaller, make the bedroom bigger, but then that's just an even more weird, narrow L shape than what was there beforehand. And then if we wanted to, we could expand that bedroom to that more friendly size. And this probably makes more sense. So then nothing's really squishy. But my point is you could make the living area bigger if you wanted to. I actually think this works really well. I mean, it's not that far from the original floor plan that it had, but it's just, you know, a little improvement. Part of me would also love to have even bench seats over here where the kitchen is. Like, I'm not sure what people prefer. Would you prefer to have bench seats and a bit more space, or would you rather have a separate dining table to the kitchen. And also considering there's a garbage chute right here, you technically for Sims gameplay wouldn't even need to have a bin. I think that does make the space flow a little bit better and we could even move those back a notch as well. We could even put these dividers where the lounge room is. I also think it would look nicer having some more modern doors here, whether you use the base game modern ones or the dream home decorator ones. That would just make more sense to me. Okay, so now that we have a nice layout selected, what are we gonna do for flooring and walls? Do we wanna hold the flooring as is? Like this really light, washed out beachy vibe? Do we wanna go like stained, darker flooring? Darker, darker flooring? All of it looks good. Maybe a mid one, because I did do a darker flooring in our last video. I actually don't mind these tiles, but I'm not like a mega, mega fan of them. We should focus more heavily on eco lifestyle. I can feel some of you guys laughing like, of course she's gonna focus on it. But I think we should because this is an eco lifestyle apartment, okay? And I know I didn't do that for city living. There's so many great wallpapers in this pack. First of all, we have the plastered wallpapers that are just really nice, really simple, but they're also a bit of fun because you can have like these half wall or third wall colors with them block colors. That's a lot of fun to play around with, or you just have these like more muted colors. Ooh, actually that's really nice behind the teal blue stove. There's also the uh, shipping container metals. I love this slate. That slate is so nice. Ooh, there's also this one, that's quite good. And then we have some really nice wooden feature walls, which we use all the time on this channel. Like they're just, they're so good. They're so versatile. And these like clipped together looking eco wood styles. And this metal's really cool. Like I'm kind of tempted to use this in the kitchen or this darker color. If we use the darker color here, we could maybe play around with the stripes on the walls around the rest of the room. I mean, I really like that. I'm kind of upset by these kitchen counters just because the base game ones aren't as, cause they were like the first thing in the game. They don't have beautiful waterfall edges or anything like that. I mean, we could use these more industrial ones, which, you know, they do have nicer edges, but then I'm worried that this may look a little bit too rustic. But then there's also the argument that, that eco lifestyle kind of is rustic. So it makes sense. All right, I think I might use a couple of tiny living things. Oh, if we do use tiny living, we could use this TV setup, which is really cool. Or like this little TV, which is really great for smaller homes as well. But we probably actually have space to use uh, the regular one from Eco Lifestyle. And I also love so many of the chairs that came in Eco Lifestyle because they do maybe seem a little less invasive with space, like they're a little smaller. They could almost pass as a regular armchair at a table. And actually it took me a little while to realize that that's not what they were, that they were actually armchairs. I'm not sure how I feel about this couch because we do have a lot of blue in here. It's, it's a lot of matchy matchy. Don't get me wrong, I love the matchy matchy, but maybe we can have a little more brandy, like random, just trying to make that rhyme. <laughs> 
Or do we just go two seater? Because two seaters take up less room. Okay, this table is way too big for this space. I do like it size down, but you can't really easily place things on this table size down. I mean, you can definitely lift things up using the move object on sheet and your handy dandy keys. And you know what? That does actually look pretty good. You could also put this on the side as like another nested table. Does that just look like it's sticking into it unnecessarily? Do we have any Ottomans in these packs? I don't think we do, but we could size down and make a baby one of these. Cute. Oh, little nest of tables. Actually, it was so cute. I found a nest. Oh, my dad found a nest here the other day and it was made from Bowser's fur, my dog's fur. So the birds would have just found his fur around the place and like turned it into a nest. Isn't that nice? Don't know why I'm using another pack. Oh, we have so many great rocks. Now there definitely is a very high contrast blue rug we can use. Ooh, this one's got some fun colors on it too. Uh, which is this one, which I'm like, yes, it does go with the theme. There's also the black to tie in the lounges. Still not convinced about these lounges. I've never fully got behind the swatches of these couches. Oh, I love that color. Mm, this rug, this rug is making me want to change my mind. It's dangerous territory. Ooh. Can we introduce another pack? <laughs> Honestly, I never know whether to use heaps of different packs or restrict myself. I just don't know because everyone thinks differently. I mean, the other chair you could use if you just have base game here that would go with our color scheme is this one, which has a really nice texture on it. I mean, look, I'm just gonna use that, but I also love the one in the other pack. Let's save, because we don't want to lose anything. Eco Lifestyle also just has so many great decorative pieces. Like, no wonder I use it so much. Do you have any standing lights? You have this one from Tiny Living that I'll admit is a really good time. But you know what I often do with this? I often use my bracket key to size it down. Yeah, this is really coming together, you guys. Like, this is looking more and more like a home. Uh, classic piece from Eco, love that. And we need to lift something up off of the ground for this one, just because we illegally placed it. It's how I feel. Ooh, paintings. I wonder, could we do, I know we're pretty tight on space here, but I'm kind of tempted to like put this behind the couch on maybe this kind of thin hallway table. That looks really cool, but like, I don't know, is it worth making it more cramped? to look more homely, because we could nest two tables instead. I know some of you guys will really love this little addition. Oh, or we could put it on a shelf on the wall. So it doesn't actually take up much more room like this. Huh? Could we fit a little bookshelf over here? Oh, that would be a nice one. That's from high school years. I mean, this is also a nice one. That doesn't have to be just for toddler rooms or Tiny Living Classic. Tiny Living Classic is probably the way to go. I'm actually gonna get rid of that plant because we have that bit of greenery over here and we could actually put another plant up on the shelf. So it just looks a little bit greener that way. And which pictures do we like best? This one does have some of our peachy color in it. This one's just really loud and fun. Ooh, that's got a lot of peach in it. I think that. Then of course we have more room for storage in this cabinet. So you know, you can put whatever you want in there. I do really struggle to find anything from base game to put into these cabinets. Like part of me is just like, should I just put a gnome in here? <laughs> but that's so sad. He looks like he's in jail. A Yoda. Say what you will about Star Wars, but Yoda, it's very difficult to dislike Yoda. I mean, baby Yoda. I mean, we could put something up here, but I don't think we need to. Like we could put some form of sconce light. But I personally like it plain because we've already got quite a lot going on in here. And I'm not gonna put any appliances in. I'll let you guys do that if you would like to. If the spirit moves you, we could put some shelves up here. I just noticed this clock. Uh, they could catch on fire though. Not ideal. Oh, what about, oh, you know what we could put up here? The tiny living shelf. Ooh, I like this. This could have gone over there. Tempted to use this somewhere. Oh, I love this table as well. That could have been a good table if we weren't using a bench as a table. I was gonna say this is a good item from Tiny Living to put into the kitchen. Very nice. And it comes in that blue color we've been using. So it just blends into the wall beautifully. Oh, 
Oh, I thought Tiny Living also had a bathroom one. We could have also used this shelf above the couch. That's another good one. I'll put it in the bedroom for now. Maybe we'll use it, maybe we won't. And I know it's another pack, but the new clutter kit does have like a couple of nice things to put at your front door, so. Not a big deal if you don't have it, like this area can be left blank, but I'll just put it here for something a little bit extra. Maybe a few of these just to make the area looked a bit more lived in. Ooh, actually this would have been good to put in here. The memorabilia box, which we all thought might be for a new expansion pack. Sadly, it's not. Oh, I just thought of another thing. We could probably squeeze a little study in here, like a study nook. It's definitely, but like, I think this could actually be quite handy to have. So I think we should do it. Laptop in. Oh, fun desk chair. Oh, I'm really opening up a can of worms. Let's just be reasonable and not go too crazy with packs. I always pick this little mushroom lamp because it's one of the only lamps that actually fit on this desk. Looking really gorgeous. All right, so the bathroom, I kind of was tempted to go with this dark brown tile. And what's tricky about this is actually finding wallpaper to go with it. I mean, maybe we just go with the white. And then also it's kind of hard to find showers and such to go with this, unless we're using like Spa Day, which has lots of earthy colors in it. I think let's go the tiny living sink because the eco lifestyle one, I feel can look too high end. Whereas this looks a little bit more kind of normal. I mean, do we like any base game tiles? I mean, these are fine. Yeah, maybe we just go like white tiles and we could either continue the blue theme. I mean, yeah, let's just do that. Let's keep it really simple. We can introduce a bit of wood in here as well. Use the classic tiny living mirror that always seems so high up on the wall, but I know why they've done that. It's because of the, because of this dresser. So you can place it above the dresser. Again, the toilet looks like really high end. So I'd rather use this one that also looks strangely eco-friendly to me. Don't ask me why. I know some of you guys also love this toilet because we fangirl over it together, which is a beautiful thing. I'm actually just gonna size this down and use it as like a little teeny tiny shower mat. That's actually really cute. Oh yeah, this tiny living thing is for bathrooms. For some reason, I thought it was in some other pack. I don't know why I thought that, but thank God it's not. All right, we're on the home run here. I think this room would be really cute with like more yellow in it and maybe using the other eco lifestyle bed, this one. I don't know, I just feel this one's a little bit more cute. I think it has potentially a better color scheme to use. And I don't know why it has such a big gap from the wall, but let's just shift that back holding down the alt key. And I wanna put yellow in this bedroom. Let's make it bright. Let's make it fun, but not so fun that we have that yellow side table as well. Side table there. Do we want to have matching furniture? Sometimes I'm overwhelmed by too much matching. Oh, and we love this. Let me put that above the bed. Ooh, curtains. I did not think about curtains. That's fun. I mean, I don't mind that for this room, for the main bedroom. Not as thrilled with these curtains for this bedroom. Kind of want to use a little bit of wooden stuff in this room as well. Probably does make it look smaller, but it also makes it look more interesting. Ooh, I do like this. Although maybe it's a bit much for a kid's bedroom. A little backpack here. What about dinosaurs? I don't know, I kind of like that wall blank. I know it's a kid's room, but maybe depending on what kind of kid is in the room, you start putting things up on the wall of things they've like made or created, and then you just really make it into their own. Here we go, that's a that's good to put on that wall. Okay, moving on to the final room, which is this main bedroom. We have done so many sage bedrooms recently, which I really love, but it might be time to cool down a bit on the sage. I mean, we could kind of bounce off of this room, you know, go for the, the yellow as well. I just feel like it's a lot of yellow. What about we go for coral? Coral is a color I don't usually go for. Do any of these beds have coral in them? I don't know if they do. The coral color is very difficult to find a bed that will go with it, unless we're using beds from other packs. I mean, that looks more, oh, actually I think that is the same ready coral color. It's kind of like these are red, but the wall is coral. I just want to use the desert luxe things on my first pet stuff. Let's just go the light blue. 
because it's trustworthy. It's slightly different to the other room because it's the light blue. Which I'm gonna change these curtains to this and have these base game curtains in this room too. I always get this feeling that I've used something from a pack that I'm not meant to. Like I usually make a mistake. So I wonder if I've actually pulled this off or not. I could actually have a hint of yellow in this corner. A wee little bit of fun. I kinda like just a brown. You know what? I think I'll just do the regular favorite eco lifestyle dresser. I love this dresser. It's just a good size. It's very robust. <gasps> oh, and I love this mirror. Let's put this mirror over here. Kind of like it in the, in the darker color too. I know I've used something from another pack. I can feel it. I can like smell it. I've done something wrong and you guys are going to tell me what it is. Look, it wouldn't be a deli build without a little mistake here and there. What was the mistake in the last video? I placed two rolls of toilet paper in one bathroom. Slay. Do you like this little, little detail? I mean, this would be a really impractical mirror to use, but I do feel like it looks really cool. Little clutter kit number. Now let's check out the final renovation. So this is now $22,000 worth of furnishing. But it's still got the weekly rent of 600 simoleons and a deposit of 1,000, which is really interesting. I wonder if we save the game and come into it again, if it changes or if it just remains exactly the same because it's not past a certain threshold. Or does it never change? I'm not sure, maybe you guys know. But let's move in the tinkerers or the tinkers. It's always a lucky guess what weather we're gonna get when we move in and what time of day, I have no idea. I'm guessing nighttime. Ah, oh, I guess right. Well, nighttime's okay. And I really, really wanna see what it looks like when it's looking a lot nicer than it is right now. I'm really curious about that because this window right next to the door really upsets me a lot, but it's a temporary thing. So this is the entrance. I love these two little clutter items at the front door. The kitchen turned out really nice. Like I think it's actually a good size, making it that little bit smaller to expand the lounge area. And I absolutely love this teal color. Again, a few little clutter things. And then the Tinker family are enjoying the lounge room, which does look very warm, very friendly. And you know, they could live here because the kid could live in the kid's bedroom and the other two Sims. I don't know if they're partners, but if they were, they could share the double bed. And I think this little office nook is a good thing. Just a little sneaky spot in here. All right, let's go into the bathroom. The bathroom's nice. I, I really like these just plain white tiles with the blue wall. White and blue always look great together. I love that contrast. Cause like it's a little softer than black and white. It's like a softer, not as high fashion look. This is the kids room. I think swapping the curtains was a good move to base game. And that's actually really sweet. I like this and I love that bed. And then there is the dresser over here too. And then last of all, this is the main bedroom. And I think, you know, it's a nice bedroom. It's definitely utilizing a lot of eco lifestyle things, which is on brand for this build. And then I think we had a little bit of fun with this mirror in the corner, putting that underneath eco lifestyle wooden battens. So that's a bit of fun. Maybe not the most practical, but a bit of fun. And for those of you guys who like to build this yourselves, here it is. And I will upload this to the gallery. In order to upload apartments, unfortunately, there's not an easy way to do it in The Sims 4. So I actually have to delete walls to make this into one big room. And then when you guys place it, you just have to fill in the walls again. So make sure to have the move objects on cheat on. Otherwise, like I said, feel free to copy the layout and furnish it however you want to. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to my members as well. Some of the top supporters, I'll pop you guys up here. So thank you guys for all of your support and let me know what video you would like to see next. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Tag tag.